Let's try this one more time. Um, awesome. Hi, my name is Alexa. I'm the assistant camp director at Flying Horse Farms, and we're gonna talk about journaling today. Um, so we'll give it a couple minutes, let you all join me um, here now instead of the other video. Um, if you are with me and ready to go, um, you can grab a journal of any kind, or um, I have some loose paper on hand. Um, I love these little pieces of paper. Um, so feel free to grab some paper, a journal, old journal, new journal, whatever you have on hand is awesome. Um, feel free to grab some pens. Um, I like these little markers. These are pretty great. Um, I also have just like an awesome dandy pen, pencil, any sort of writing utensil. I have this little packet of markers that I love to carry on hand with me. And as you're getting fancier, rulers are really helpful, but for today's sake, feel free to grab just some paper and a pen um, and join us back here. Awesome, okay, people are headed over this way, great. Sorry about the technical difficulties. We were trying something a little, um, a little different. We use a different software and it was not flying today. So thanks for bearing with the technical difficulties. Oh good, I'm glad you can hear me now. <laughs> awesome. Um, if you're just joining me, my name is Alexa. I'm the assistant camp director. Um, I do a lot of bullet journaling in my spare time. Um, so that's, I'm going to come talk a little bit about just regular journal, journaling, um, some things you can be doing at home to journal right now, um, and then also a little bit on some creative journaling. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about bullet journaling at the end if that's something that you're interested in. In the meantime, as we're waiting for people to join us, um, I would love to know what your experience with journaling is. So if you can drop that in the comments, let us know if you journal all the time, if you're an everyday journaler, if you're a sometimes journaler, or if you've never even thought about journaling um, and want to watch this live to figure out what it's all about. So I'd love to hear that. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking and we'll get here we'll get started here in just a second. If you're just joining, feel free to grab some paper, a pen or a marker, um, or a pencil, um, and we'll talk about some different things you can journal and do with us. Cool. Awesome. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm briefly gonna tell you a little bit about why journaling. So I told you that I love to journal. Um, I'm a huge fan of bullet journaling, so it's a, a little bit more of a doodly and art based journaling. Um, it's like has a really fancy backstory. Um, I do it really just so I can doodle and track my moods. So we'll talk about using that as a way to journal. Um, but I love to do it. Um, I love to journal when I'm happy. Um, but I think the more important part for me is making sure that I'm journaling when I'm not feeling as great. Um, which is the harder time to pick up my journal. Um, when it's when I'm not feeling super well, it's a little bit more challenging for me to put pen to paper because, um, you know, acknowledging those feelings can be tricky. So um, I love to journal, again, when I'm happy, really get in the moment with it, um, but it's really important for me to journal when I'm not feeling happy. Um, so that's a little bit about why I journal. Um, I would love to hear if you do journal, why do you journal? Um, so feel free to let us know. Um, <laughs> awesome. And then a couple things um, of just like quick benefits or like reasons why other people journal. Um, it's actually shown to improve your memory. I have an awful memory, so writing things down always helps me. Um, it can calm and clear your mind. Uh, it's really great for self-awareness and self-reflection. So thinking about why things went really well, why things didn't go so well, um, it helps you with that self-awareness bit. It can help you set goals and track progress. Um, it helps boost your mood and create a sense of well-being and can inspire creativity. So just a couple reasons why you might start journaling. Um, so I'd love to hear if you do journal, why did you start journaling? Um, Awesome. And we touched on getting started in some materials you might need, but in case you missed that, 
You'll need some sort of paper. It can be any kind of paper. I love these little pieces of paper. They're really helpful for me. You'll see I have my little Y journaling um, down here. Um, so little paper, paper. I have lots of journals. I love, again, love journaling. So shockingly have a couple journals on hand. Um, some markers or pens or pencil. Um, and then I keep mine in a little pouch so that I can carry it with me and journal just when I can. Um, so pens, pencils, paper, journal, whatever you have works. Cool. Um, so we talked about getting started, materials, the toughest part. Hi, Rose. Uh, we miss you too. Um, so the toughest part of journaling is the getting started piece. And so if you go out there and you were to hop on Pinterest or Google journaling, you might see these really beautiful looking journals and it can be really intimidating to start. So the most important part is just to start. Um, so you're just going to want to put pen to paper and do what feels good for you and remember why you started journaling. So if it was for that self-reflection piece, you just want to make sure that you're doing it um, in the way that's best for you. So in order to reflect, it might just be writing down what happened in a day, um, and that might be the way that you start journaling. So awesome. So getting started, just do it. Um, so we wrote down a couple prompts that are going to help you with journaling. So um, I'm going to share this towards the screen, and it might be backwards, so I'll make sure to post a comment of it in the um, photos, or in the post a photo of it in the comments below. Um, but a couple prompts or reason or things to start journaling with. Um, so writing a list of what makes you happy. Um, so I loved this. This is actually how I started journaling. Writing down just a simple list of what are the things that make me really happy right now. Um, for some people, it might be writing down a list of what self-care looks like right now. Um, I know that self-care for me looks a lot different right now in this moment than it did a couple months ago. Um, and so it took taking a step back and redefining self-care. So I had to think about what makes me happy first and then use that to help me create some self-care that made me feel happy. Um, stream of conscious journaling. Um, so this is just putting pen to paper and writing. So just writing any thought that you have. The goal is not to pick up your pen from your paper for one minute, two minute, five minutes, 10 minutes. You kind of choose and just write whatever is on top of mind right then. So stream of conscious journaling. Uh, you could make a life map. Um, so writing down what good things happened in your life, um, what things were challenging in life, just making that road map of what your life has looked like can help you reflect on those good times and tricky times. Um, mindful journaling. Um, so this is a really cool one. Um, if you're looking for a challenge, this is a really good one to sit and write exactly what you're feeling and experiencing in the moment. So those could be the exact thoughts you're experiencing it could be your describing your surroundings in detail. So describing to you that I'm sitting on a hard chair, that only one foot of mine is planted firmly on the ground, the other one is tucked underneath me. Um, so describing in detail what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, so some mindful journaling. Uh, I love the prompt of describe your happy place. Um, so especially when I'm feeling a little bit sad, I might uh, write in my journal and describe my happy place. So for me right now, I'm thinking about the hammocks outside of the well nest, um, of laying in one of those on a, a warm, warm camp day with a bottle of water for hydration, um, surrounded by some of my friends who work in the well nest, um, and just relaxing that way. So describing in detail what that happy place is, what it looks like, smells like, feels like. Yeah, that already made me feel happier. Um, and then a letter to your future or past self. So um, write a letter to yourself in five years from now, in 10 years from now, um, whatever that might look like at the end of middle school, at the end of high school, at the end of college, wherever you are in life, writing a letter to yourself for the future. Or 
on the opposite side of that, write a letter to your past self. What would past Alexa be proud of herself for accomplishing now? Um, in college, I used to volunteer at camp all the time, and now I'm working at camp. And so how cool would it be to write college Alexa a letter to say, congratulations, you're working at your dream job, and you love it, and these people are pretty darn awesome. Um, so writing that letter to your past self. So those are just a couple prompts that you can do um, that will help you. Um, does anybody have something that they journal about that helps, that might be a good prompt for other people to journal about too? Feel free to put that in the comments. We can help each other start journaling. So again, those are some prompts to get you started. I'll post a picture of this in the comments so that you have it as well. Cool. Cool. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about creative journaling. So this is the part that's been really helpful for me. Um, this could be photo journaling. So think of if you wanted to go back to any moment in time, you could go maybe back through your camera reel, uh, your camera settings on your phone, your gallery, um, and find a picture that makes you really happy and maybe write about that. Um, so that could be really helpful. Um, I did this the other day as I was sorting through some photos and so I was able to send some of those photos to friends and relive those memories with those friends, which was pretty cool. Um, so it was kind of journaling out loud with them. Um, you can make a mood board or like a big board on your wall um, or anywhere. So this could be in a journal. Um, it could be some of the quotes that you love. It could be pictures that you love. You can doodle. Um, you can make that mood board. You can make a collage. So if you have magazines lying around, if you have uh, newspaper clippings, you can cut, kind of cut and paste all of those pictures and words together um, to make a collage. You could take some old pictures uh, and make, put those right into your collage too. You can doodle as you draw or doodle as you journal. Um, so maybe instead of writing words, it feels even better to um, draw a picture of your happy place. Um, so you can doodle those out. Um, and then last but not least, you can bullet journal. So I'm going to show you a couple of the things that have helped me um, in creating my bullet journal. So um, one of the things that helps me is called a mood tracker. Um, and so it helps me at the end of each day, I'll go back and I'll just make a little color in something that indicates what my mood was that day, which usually prompts me to write something about that day down so that I remember. Um, so I'll show you a picture in a minute of one that has a, it shows kind of an icky color and you're like, what must have happened that day? Um, and I found a mouse uh, while I was cleaning a space and it scared me. And I remember just having an awful day after that. And so it was cool to go back and be like, oh, that was a tough day. Um, and so now I have that reminder of, oh, I didn't have such a great day because I found a mouse and that really scared me. Um, or on the opposite side of that, you might have a really great day and be able to go back and be like, oh yeah, that was a great day because I got to hang out at camp with all of my friends. Um, so this one is of July. So this is last summer and I just drew a little campfire down here and you can see the little sparks that come off of the campfire with little numbers in the middle. So those numbers are the days of the month. Um, there are also some numbers down in the fire so you can see those colored in and you can see oh, at the top my little key. So sad, meh, happy, and very happy. And so July was a pretty stellar month. Um, so this helps me track that mood. You can see that this is during camp, so it was a pretty happy month. If you want to get, so this is a, you can make these as complicated or as easy as you want. These get a little bit more complicated. These are lots of plants. I really love plants in my household. If you've seen during dancing, I have a lot of plants in the background. Um, so I doodled a couple plants and then I drew in the pots as the moods. So my little mood guy is down here. Um, so you can see the mood colors and then see that I drew in 
those colors in there. So those are a couple examples of just mood trackers. You can make them as simple or as tricky as you want. Um, the one I'm doing this month so that you can see just how easy you can make them. I'm coloring in circles for the month of May. So super easy, just dots on a page with the numbers in them. And then at the bottom, you see those little faces all over again. So some ways to, to track my mood, see how I'm doing. It's a nice little self check-in, helps me know how I'm feeling um, and kind of sum up my days and really helps me remember my days. Yeah, so you can do some mood trackers. Um, if you're looking to do some new hobbies or maybe you have a hobby, so I love to read. Um, so something I might do and that I do is to keep track of the books that I'm reading in this little bookshelf or the movies that I'm watching. I'm really bad at watching movies, so not many of these are colored in. That's okay. But the books, this is from last year, so you can see that a lot of them are colored in, um, and I'm able to track which books I'm reading. Um, so you can do whatever you want to do there. So if you have a craft or a list of craft projects you're doing, you can just make a list in your journal of what those craft projects are. Um, if you have plants in your house, you could try and keep track of what kinds of plants you have um, and what how much watering they need. Um, so whatever that looks like for you, um, you can make those different lists and categories and um, make sure that they you know, help you in whatever way you need journaling to help you right now. Um, and so a quick last couple reminders. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments down here. I'm happy to answer anything on journaling. Um, I'll make sure to post some of those prompts and we'd love to hear how you're using journaling to help you right now. Um, but yeah, feel free to post any comments or questions you have. And then a couple last reminders. The hardest part is starting. Um, it can be really challenging and you might have a desire to make things look really beautiful if you're trying to do these artsy drawings. The hardest part is definitely just getting pen to paper. And so if you can just get started, write down whatever you're feeling right now, write down a list of what makes you happy, do one of the prompts that feels really good to you. Um, so hardest part's getting started. You wanna start with no judgment of yourself know that for every drawing I have in here, you saw my sketchbook during my hand lettering, I still have that sketchbook and I doodle all sorts of things in the sketchbook sometimes I, before I put it in the journal and that's okay too. You do whatever you want to do. If you want to put it directly in the journal, put it directly in your journal. If you want to write it on random sheets of paper everywhere, also cool. Do what you need to do. Um, and then a last reminder is you get better over time. So if you're looking to do some of these more complicated things, there's a lot of inspiration out there on Pinterest and Instagram and the internet. Um, and we're happy to provide additional inspiration if you need any. Um, but know that you will get better over time. So keep practicing. Um, so you got to see my uh, one of my doodles from last year. I can show you how it got better over time. So you saw my little library of books that I was hoping to read last year, and this is this year's. So a little bit more complicated than last year, and you get better over time. So it's pretty cool to watch your own progress, and you can do whatever you need to with journaling. So artistic journaling, writing for journaling, um, collages, mood boards, photo journaling, there's lots of options out there. We would love to know how you're using them. Um, awesome. And if you don't have any questions, this was awesome. Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I'm glad that we could bring a little bit of peace and journaling to your Friday. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And we'll see you next week for more Camp at Home programming. Bye, y'all.